Hello, and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. James Cathedral. My name is Sean, and today we will be praying using the Book of Alternative Services. We begin on page 46. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. O come, let us worship. Now we will say together the Jubilate found on page 49. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for today is psalm number 55, and it can be found on page 774. Hear my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my petition. Listen to me and answer me. I have no peace because of my cares. I am shaken by the noise of the enemy and by the pressure of the wicked. For they have cast an evil spell upon me, and are set against me in fury. And my heart quakes within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come over me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee to a far-off place and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would hasten to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Swallow them up, O Lord, confound their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen make their rounds upon her walls. But trouble and misery are in the midst of her. There is corruption at her heart. Her streets are never free of oppression and deceit. For had it been an adversary who taunted me, then I could have borne it. Or had it been an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then I could have hidden from him. But it was you, a man after my own heart, my companion, my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the throng in the house of God. Let death come upon them suddenly. Let them go down alive into their grave. For wickedness is in their dwellings, in their very midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, and at noonday, I will complain and lament. 
and he will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back from the battle waged against me, for there are many who fight me. God, who is enthroned of old, will hear me and bring them down. They never change. They do not fear God. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous stumble. For you will bring the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live out half their days, but I will put my trust in you. God of grace, when we are frightened and alone, help us to trust you and cast our burdens upon you, that we may be upheld by your saving strength. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 to 46. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. For I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. As a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now we shall say together the Apostles' Creed which can be found on page 52 in the Book of Alternative Services. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The response to the building, Lord, hear our prayer, is let our cry come unto thee. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. We pray for leaders of the church throughout the world. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Linda, our primate, Anne, our metropolitan, and Mark, our national indigenous archbishop. For Andrew, our diocesan bishop, and all of our area bishops, for Stephen, our dean, and for Canon Stephen, our vicar, and all the clergy and people throughout our cathedral and diocese, for all Christians everywhere, especially those persecuted for their faith. Lord, let your church be a beacon of light throughout the world. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. We pray for the Queen and all who govern in our country, province, and city. We pray for all the leaders throughout the world. Help them, God, to fill the earth with your justice and peace. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. We pray for all those in need in our community, for the lonely, the sick, the suffering, the hungry, the homeless, and all those who mourn. We pray for refugees, prisoners, and captives. We pray for people who live in places of war and for all the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic and their families. For all those in our hearts and those whom we have forgotten. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray for those who have died, for the, all the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic and those who we remember now. That God will take them to himself with St. Mary, the mother of our Lord, St. James, our patron, and all the saints in light. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Heavenly One, you have heard the prayers of your faithful people. You know our needs before we ask, and our ignorance in asking. Grant our requests as may be best for us. This we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us, and because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, Give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for praying with me, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.